In this lesson, I'll show you several examples on how to apply the order of operations. This video caters to students of all grades, whether you're in elementary school, starting high school, or college, because all math starts here. Now to ensure that arithmetic calculations are performed consistently, we must follow the order of operations. If an arithmetic expression contains brackets, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, we use the following procedure. And you can read through this on your own, but all of this can be summarized with a very simple acronym. Now for our Canadian viewers, that acronym is BEDMAS, whereas for our American viewers, the B is replaced with a P, because in America they tend to use the word parentheses versus brackets. This acronym, whether you're using B or P to start with, represents brackets, exponents, division and multiplication, addition and subtraction, and this is the order in which calculations are performed. The question is simple. We're asked, evaluate each expression below. Evaluate means find an answer, where an expression is simply a mathematical statement that doesn't contain an equal sign. So you're really not solving for any variable. In our first example, we have 2 minus 1 in brackets times 2. According to the acronym BEDMAS, we have to perform what's inside the brackets first. So we have to concentrate on 2 minus 1 and then multiply whatever we get by 2. 2 minus 1 is 1 times 2 is 2. So our answer here is 2. Let's see what happens if we remove the brackets from the first two terms. Here we have 2 minus 1 times 2. Now rather than doing 2 minus 1 from left to right, this time we have to multiply negative 1 and 2 together because multiplication takes priority over subtraction. So negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 and 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Let's move on to the next example. This time we have 18 divided by 6 plus 3 times 2. According to the acronym BEDMAS, division comes before multiplication. But technically, their priority is the same. You must perform what appears first from left to right. In our case, we have division appearing first, and then multiplication appearing second. So notice we have 18 divided by 6 and 3 times 2. I'm going to find the answer to each simultaneously. 18 divided by 6 is 3, and 3 times 2 is 6 and in between is plus, so we add 3 and 6 together, which give us 9. In our next example, we have 13 plus 5. That's in brackets divided by 6 minus 3. 13 plus 5 is in brackets, so that gets performed first. 13 plus 5 is 18, then divided by 6, which is 3, then we subtract 3, and we end up with 0. Next, we have 18 divided by, in brackets, 6 plus 3 times 2. 6 plus 3 is in brackets, and together that's 9. So now we have 18 divided by 9 times 2. Working from left to right, since we have only division and multiplication, 18 divided by 9 is 2 times 2 is 4. For this example, we have 18 divided by 3 times 2. This is in brackets, and the product of 3 times 2 is 6. 18 divided by 6 is 3. In this example, we have 2, and then we have two sets of brackets, 9 minus 4 and 12 minus 5. 9 minus 4 is 5, so we have 2, bracket 5. And over here, we have 12 minus 5. 12 minus 5 is 7. Whenever you have a number beside a bracket, the operation is multiplication. But we don't show the multiplication symbol. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. We're halfway through. Now we have 128 divided by 2 times 4, and that's in brackets raised to the power of 2. This is our first example where we have an exponent. So, respecting the acronym BEDMAS, we have 2 times 4, it's 8. And then, the next thing is exponents. 8 to the power of 2 is like saying 8 times 8. That's 64. So we have 128 divided by 64. 64 is half of 128, so our answer is 2. The example right below is nearly identical, except this time we have a 4 being raised to the power of 2 and a minus 3 added to the end. So we'll focus our energy right here. And instead of multiplying 2 and 4 together, we're going to take 4 and raise it to the power of 2. That's 16. 16 times 2 is 32. 
So now our expression looks like this, and we have division and subtraction. The first thing we'll look at is division. 128 divided by 32 is 4, minus 3 is equal to 1. Now, this example has this style brackets and the parentheses. Technically, these are called parentheses and these are called brackets. And the reason why we change the style is just to show that we have brackets within brackets. So you still have to concentrate within this area, but first you have to concentrate here and then move outwards. So 3 minus 11 is negative 8. We have 18 minus negative 8. Those are in brackets. And notice that I changed the style, but of course you could use square brackets. Even your calculator doesn't discriminate between the two. 18 minus minus 8 is 26. 26 times negative 4 is equal to negative 104. Now only a few examples left. This time we have these curly brackets. Those are called braces. And once again, we change the style when we have brackets within brackets. This time we have these parentheses that are within these square brackets, and then these square brackets are within these braces. So we have to focus on what's within here, and specifically what's within these parentheses. 3 to the power of 2 is 9 minus 25. 9 minus 25 is negative 16. So 4 minus negative 16 divided by 10. We have these braces, minus 7, 8 minus everything. Now we have to find out what 4 minus negative 16 is. That's 20. 20 divided by 10 is 2. So 8 minus 2 minus 7. 8 minus 2 is 6. Minus 7 is negative 1. In our next example, we have 10 minus this expression that's in brackets plus these braces. And then we have the square bracket. But we don't have a square bracket anywhere else, a closing bracket. So let's place it right here. We can focus on this part and this part at the same time because neither takes priority. This is not within another set of brackets and this is a term of its own. So let's start by finding out what 42 divided by 7 minus 8 is. 7 is divisible into 42 perfectly. It's 6. 6 minus 8 is negative 2. So we have 10 minus 2. We have 0 plus. We don't have to worry about this at all. And now we have 5 minus 3. That's equal to 2. Raised to the power of 2 is 4 times 6 is 24 plus 1. So we just found out what all of this is equal to. 10 minus 2 is 8 plus 25. The answer is 33. And last but not least, in this expression we have a fraction, a numerator up here and denominator down here, and this is all being raised to the power of 3. So let's focus on the bracket. And specifically, we'll focus on the numerator, and then we'll find the answer for the denominator. 118.8 plus 4.23, for that we can use our calculator. 118.8 plus 4.23. We end up with the following. We'll divide this by the square root of 136, and then raise all of that to the power of 3 giving us 1,174 decimal 15. 1,174 decimal rounded to 2. And there you have it. That is how to apply the order of operations.